Hi, I'm Jack Hackett here at the 2014 Prep Slam. I have one really important question for the director of this event, Casey Michelson. Mr. Michelson, if you could be any tree, what kind of wrestling move would you do on other trees? And also, what kind of tree would you be? Oh, okay. That's a great one. Uh, I would be a willow tree. Oh. A willow tree. Uh, because I think people wouldn't be able to tell which direction I was coming from. Plus, I think since wrestling is a beautiful sport, right, the flow, the natural flow of my, my technique would confuse people. Uh, what move would that be? I think just the, the overwhelming whelming envelopment, you know, something like, oh, sorry, I can't do that, right? Something like that where, you know, they, they would feel my finesse. It would be like a gentle stroke good night. I would have said the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, now time to the real question. Um, just talk about the event. Tell us what's new. And yeah, All right, some, some new things this year is including the broadcast program, which I think is tremendous. Uh, I think it's a great way for us to include what we're doing in the classroom at Holy Name, in a sense with what we're doing in athletics. Uh, I'd really like to do more things like that, like we did with the barbecue club, bringing the clubs into what we're doing in athletics. Uh, I think what's great about independent schools is how we do focus on the whole person how we, we try to expose students to lots of different opportunities that they may not have at other schools. And um, when our community pools our resources like this, we do, we do amazing things. So that's one of the new things. Uh, another new thing this year is that we've got our first team from Alabama. Uh, we actually petitioned the state of South Carolina. We got a couple schools that are able to come back from there that weren't able to before. Uh, one of the things that a lot of people don't know is that about sports in this country is there's a, a national high school federation and uh, they kind of oversee all of competition and if you aren't part of a particular organization a lot of times they won't let you compete and so one of the things that I do with this tournament is try to encourage those organizations to open up and allow us to actually be independent schools and get together and do something like this so those are a few of the new things this year. How do you get schools from other states such as New York and Alabama to come to an event in Georgia? I spend uh, quite a bit of time, really, you know, I, I feel like uh, Coach Saban or something right now, but uh, honestly, starting probably Tuesday or Wednesday morning, I'll start uh, looking up the most recent email addresses, literally going website to website, school website to school website, looking for the newest address, email address of their coach. I'll send them a link to our website. Uh, I'll let them know what happened here this weekend. Um, Hopefully, you know, with what we're doing here with the, this, this broadcast, uh, being able to send them the video uh, of the experience, what they'll be able to get out of coming to Prep Slam. Um, that's how, you know, I promote to those coaches. But then a lot of times it's just getting on the phone and relying on these people to go home and tell their friends. The wrestling community is a really small community, and they know people that coach at other places. And when they go home and tell one another about this tournament, the way we were so hospitable to people. You know, me as a Yankee, I had always heard about Southern hospitality. I think uh, we do it at a first rate level with the Prep Slam. They go home, they tell their friends, and then they, they meet up here in Atlanta. They see they come to warmer weather to compete. And um, yeah, I think it, it sells itself in a lot of ways. Are you looking to reach out more maybe to the well, west like California and Nevada and things over there? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, on our website, www.theprepslam.com or, or .org, .org. Uh, either one actually. But um, you can check the history of this tournament. We've had teams uh, from as far away as California, Calvary Chapel, a nationally ranked program out there. We'd love to have them back. Um, I've contacted schools in Washington State, in Illinois. I've been in touch with schools in Hawaii. I was really hoping one of them would bring a couple of guys out this year. It's a little harder to convince them to come to our weather. That's a little different sell. But um, yeah, I mean, we, uh, the farthest school we've had away is Calvary Chapel from California. Cool. Anything else? Yeah, I'd just like to take a second to talk about our barbecue club, and uh, you know, it's a complete, it's a club, it's completely volunteer. Uh, they just delivered uh, over uh, 28 butts of pulled pork uh, that they've been working on. We got here at five o'clock in the morning to start the smoker. I mean, none of them have to do it. It's just like our broadcast program doesn't have to support the prep slam, and uh, I, to, to me, with all of the planning that goes behind this, with, I'm, I'm gonna try not to get you know, too choked up seriously on camera. Uh, it, it makes me really want to be part of this community and I, I really appreciate what the Barbecue Club has done and the broadcast program. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.